I watched a lot of movies while I was off of YouTube and I wanted to share them with you guys. The first one I watched was Tangled. This was a rewatch and I went to the theater to see it. AMC had released it to a few theaters and I went and saw it with my grandma. I absolutely loved Tangled but I never got to see it in theaters so I'm really glad that I finally got to do that. Of course, since it is one of my favorite Disney movies, I gave this one five stars. Then I watched a movie called Welcome to Happiness. This movie is extremely obscure and really hard to explain but I'm gonna try to do it anyway. It's about this man who has a door in his closet and people come over and go through the magic door, but the man who actually lives there can't go through the door. He has no idea what's behind the door, and it starts driving him crazy that he can't go through the door. I don't know if you guys have been counting how many times I've said door, but I'm pretty sure I've said it like 20 times. Through the entire movie, I was trying to decide what I was going to rate it. It is such a weird movie, and I didn't know if I was really liking it or really hating it, but in the end, I decided that I really loved this movie, and I gave this four and a half stars. Then I rewatched The Orphanage. I watched this with my family. I had watched this a few years ago, and I loved it. And every year I always try and get my family to watch it and finally we watched it this year and I give this three and a half stars. I also rewatched Baby Driver. I saw it in theaters and I watched it again when I bought it and I gave this one four stars. Then I rewatched The Green Mile. I watched this a long time ago and I don't remember any of it. I remember really hating it but I think I would have only been like nine or ten when it came out. But since I just recently read the book and loved the book, I decided to rewatch the movie after I read it. And this movie was absolutely fantastic. I am so glad that I rewatched it and I gave this four and a half stars. Then I watched the Mummy. I was really excited for this to come out because I really liked the original Mummies. I don't really like Tom Cruise and I heard that this wasn't a very good movie, but I watched it anyway and it really wasn't the best movie. I think I still prefer the first one. I gave this two and a half stars. Then I watched The Lady Vanishes and it's about this girl who is traveling alone on a train and she bonds with this woman who's sitting across from her. She falls asleep on the train and when she wakes up she can't find this woman that sat across from her and nobody on the train seems to know who this woman was. I was constantly assuming everyone was a suspect and I gave this two and a half stars. Stars. Then I watched a movie called Nightmare. This came out in 1964. This is about a young girl in a private school who returns home because she has been expelled due to these nightmares that she's been having. When she returns home, the nightmares don't stop. We find out that her mother is insane, so we start assuming that she is also insane. I don't think I knew any of the actors in this movie, but I absolutely loved it. It was really clever and really creepy, and I gave this one four stars. Next, I watched Carnival of Souls. When I try and look for new scary movies every year at Halloween, this one has always come up, and I finally found it on YouTube to watch. This came out in 1962. This is about a woman who gets in a car accident with two other girls, and the two other girls don't survive the accident, but she comes out and she decides to move out of town after this accident. She keeps seeing this one man all around town, and he's coming from this huge building outside of town. One of my main problems with this movie was that she was an organ player in a church, and they played organ music through the entire movie, and we had to sit and watch her play it, and it was so annoying. I actually found myself muting the movie every time the organ would start playing because I just couldn't stand it. It felt like it just drug on and on with that horrible organ music, so I gave this one two stars. Then I watched Everything Everything. I had read the book earlier this year and wanted to see the movie. It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't great. I gave it three stars. Then I watched a movie called Martin. This came out in 1978. This is about a young man who believes he's a vampire and he's killing these women, but it was your typical 70s movie. There was a lot of nudity in it and I just really didn't care for that. I also thought it was pretty stupid and I was really disappointed in it. I gave it two stars. Then I watched Creep. This is a movie on Netflix that I've been wanting to watch. When I watched the trailer, I thought it was supposed to be a comedy, but it's definitely not a comedy. This is about a man who's dying, so he hires a man to come and film a day in his life, and we quickly find out that this man is totally crazy. I still laughed through a lot of this movie when I don't think you were supposed to be laughing in it. I found it to be a lot funnier than I think it was supposed to be. I do know the main actor as being a comedian, so I couldn't really connect him with anything scary. I thought the ending was okay, and I think they have a second movie that came out that connects with it, but I probably won't see the second one just because it was a real letdown for the first one. I gave this two and a half stars. And lastly, in October, I watched Young Frankenstein. I've seen this a few times before and I absolutely love it. I watched this on Halloween. I wanted something funny. I wasn't feeling good and I wanted something scary but funny at the same time. This movie is still hilarious every time I watch it and I gave it four stars. I will be posting part two in maybe the next couple days, so keep an eye out for that. Let me know if you've watched any of these movies and what you thought of them and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.